thanks to the organizers uh, for inviting me to give this presentation on the estimate topic as it relates to the ICH E9 guideline. Um, for those of you who don't know ICH, um, it is the International Council of Harmonization, an international body uh, that is trying to harmonize regulatory guidelines around the globe. It started its activities back in 1990, um, at that time focusing on the three main geographic areas, US, Europe, and Japan, but since then has become a truly global activity. The E9 guidance uh, lays out statistical principles in clinical trials. Most of you will know that. It is really the basis um, how we design and analyze our clinical trials from a statistical perspective. It has been released back in 1998, but it has never been revised since then. But mid last year, the draft, the first draft revision of the E9 came out on the topic of estimates and sensitivity analysis in clinical trials. So this draft addendum will have a significant impact on our work as it comes along with a much needed change of mindset. More specifically, it proposes a framework on how we can define and describe more precisely treatment effects uh, for our clinical trials, therefore facilitating future discussions between, between sponsors and regulators. Estimate itself is not a statistical topic per se, but it's much broader than that. It is truly a drug development topic, and you will see the implications, and you will see throughout the slides that both statistical as well as clinical input is much needed as, as well as further input as necessary. Also, I will try to convince you that failing to address the estimate question at the design stage of clinical trials may lead to severe consequences of the development programs, and these consequences can manifest in different ways. Since the draft addendum has been released about a year ago, regulatory agencies, uh, primarily the FDA and the EMA here in Europe, have started adopting this framework um, we see an increasing number of requests from both agencies, which have an impact on the design and the conduct of our new trials, but also impact on answering regulatory questions for ongoing programs. So, I mentioned that this estimate framework is there and the addendum is there in order to more precisely describe what we mean by a treatment effect. So, I should probably give you a general description, maybe definition, of what a treatment effect is. And maybe I pause for a second and let you think for yourself, how would you define, generally speaking, in general words, a treatment effect for your clinical trial? 